Hello Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Uh, Aquarius, make sure that you uh, pick up of some money oil by Ruby's daughter. It is not my company, but uh, this money oil is very power powerful. It smells phenomenal. And if you just want to boost an income and abundance of money, make sure you get some of this uh, Ruby's daughter's money oil, okay? Uh, the link will be below. And then also, Aquarius, I was prompted to show you guys the pyrite. Um, I don't know if you have this stone already, um, but you can find the stone at any natural crystal store, um, um, you know, healing store, or you can actually go on my website and you can purchase this. If you're looking for more abundance in your life, growth, prosperity, this is a good stone to work with, to carry on your person or put it on a necklace or put it in your pocket, sleep with it under your pillow, do your rituals with. Um, so anyway, I was prompted to show you guys that, the pyrite. If you don't see it on the website, send me an email. I can get this out to you. All right, so let's get into it, Aquarius. Um, thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So, Aquarius, the, the reading is pretty self-explanatory. All right, so, Aquarius, the cards want you to know when you meet your soulmate, you when you meet your soulmate, um, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, and no, um, no agitation, okay? So... Aquarius, this could be that you've already met your soulmate and maybe you're not realizing it. This also could be that um, some of you need to understand that maybe you met a soulmate, uh, but this person was to, you know, help you learn a lesson, help you get to spiritual growth. OK, uh, I don't think it was a forever person for a lot of you. Uh, and then this reading also speaks about maybe even meeting someone new. But definitely speaks about reconciliation. All right. So you may have met your soulmate. You felt a lot of it. You shouldn't have felt any anxiety or agitation. If you did, then you know that this wasn't a particular life partner to, you know, life partner type of soulmate. This is a person that comes into your life to show you, you know, um, maybe what you don't want. Bring some clarity because it looks like this relationship might have come to an ending also it says the hottest love has the coldest ending so um, this relationship possibly has uh, come to an end it, it may and then also it, it speaks of a relationship with a person who goes it grows hot and cold you know it goes from off and on you guys bounce back and forth uh to each other for whatever reason um this person also could have had you in like some type of triangle they would, you know, play with you and then put you down and go pick, you know, play with someone else. Um, right now, it looks like uh, you and your person are engaging in a time out. Aquarius, uh, we'll jump back into love, but we have end of era. The cards want you to know that this is a time for you to be planning the next phase of your life, Aquarius. This is not a time for you to allow old people, old distractions to come in and knock you off center, knock you off course. The end of an era. For some of you, a lot of you, the end of the of an era is going to come by way uh, of finances, okay? Um, now, look, if your uh, era has been a, a great run, then it says maybe you need to start to make plans in terms of savings and storing up. And if your uh, era has been one of struggle, daily struggle in terms of finances, do know that it's going to end. But the, the cards want you to make plans for the next step, whatever the next step may be for you. Only you know that. Um, Aquarius, also I'm hearing that you need to be quiet about your finances too. People are going to see you in a new light, see you in a new new abundance, and they're going to be attracted to you. And this may be the only reason why they resurface. Also, you have to understand that there is a physical and spiritual component to life, to everything. Therefore, if you are, if you have manifested wealth, abundance uh, in the 3D, in, in real things, you know, um, there is also the adverse, um, you know, energy, and that would be spiritually. So now you have, you, you also could have spiritual abundance. And now what is happening on the spiritual side is that now you're going to get all of the negative energy. Okay, I don't like how I explain that. Aquarius. So some of you have manifested some wealth. Some of you are going to really get some large sums of money coming to you. And 
spiritually, you know, you might be under like spiritual attack after this, like in the spiritual realm, they'll start sending people, sending obstacles, definitely people because spirits work through people, people who kind of like, um, will come into your life and, uh, cause, you know, drama, maybe cause you to, to get off center. So you, for you not to be focused, um, because a lot of you are going to get this money and you're going to do some really phenomenal things, not just for yourself, but other people. And, and, um, if people can't attack you physically in the physical realm, it looks like spiritually, there will be some attacks and people will try to bring that energy will be vibing so high with you that you'll start to, you know, you'll attract everything because you'll be shining. You'll attract the good and the bad. And it looks like, uh, the universe wants you to take time for self care, planning, meticulous planning, and, and keep it to yourself. There needs to be some containment in this. You don't need to tell everybody because then you're going to get all you're going to get, you know, you're going to, you're going to be like a vacuum and the universe doesn't like vacuums. They like specifics, you know, they like, you know, the law of attraction, you know, what you are, you, you will be attracted to, or what, you know, it will be attracted to you. So finances, for some of you, you're going to have to shut down and shut up about what you're doing financially because it's going to, it's going to be great for you. Uh, but it's also going to, um, you want to give some positivity, but you're also going to get a lot of negativity, you know, and that could be envy, people being jealous. That can also just be in the universe, uh, the negative forces in the universe sending, you know, negative people, the people that they work with, the minions, you know, devil's minions, um, after you to kind of disturb you. If not, it gets, I feel like this is a, you're highly protected. So it's not an energy where they can take you out and try to, you know, loss of life or anything of that nature, but it will be an energy of distraction, disruption, uh, knocking you off course, off center. And you need to understand that Aquarius, uh, true love here is coming up for some of you. Uh, there could be that you meet someone here, um, that you'll have a strong bond with. It'll be a very natural, you know, feeling of ease back to the cards are telling you, look, when you meet the one, you're just going to know it. You know, when you meet the one that's supposed to stay, that is a true love, you're going to know it. And this could be happening for you, Aquarius. All of this, this large sum of money coming into you could be happening for you by the next holiday with the gift card. This meeting, this new person could be happening uh, during the holiday season, wherever you are in the world. Um, Aquarius, it just seems like you're going to have a lot of abundance. There also could be someone trying to give you a gift. I feel like there's something behind it. There's an ulterior motive because this person was in deep contemplation of um, deep concern about how they can come back to you, how they can recreate, start something up again with you. Um, because again, you, you're not talking to this person or there is distance. There is, um, you know, there is a, a rift between the two of you. This could also then be, be them giving you a gift or reconciliation. You could think that somebody's coming back and they'd be coming back changed and new, but you never know what forces are working behind this person. You also have to think about when you were with this person, were you as focused, were you as productive, were you as centered, were you as grounded, were you as spiritual? And if this person comes back into your life and all of those things start to fall by the wayside, then you possibly know that it may not be this person. So you can't look at them under the eyes of, you know, they're a bad person, but you don't know the energy that's working with them because in the spiritual realm, they know our, our destiny, our fortune before we do. So th this could be that that person or these persons or this friend or whomever is coming back into your life to cause disruption, disturbance. So you never get to the, to the destiny. So it is never fulfilled in you. So you have to be very cautious of who you spend your time with. Um, you have to understand their vibration. And if you don't understand it, uh, you know, it, it, ask your angels, ask God, is this person for me? Should I be focused on them? Ask for God to send you a sign. Definitely, uh, whatever, whoever or whatever your God is, ask, you know, and you shall receive. You ask not, so you have not. 
So, um, but don't just rest in confusion and don't rest on your emotions. Oh, I miss them. I know they miss me. So we need to get back together. No, if, if they are not adding to, if there's not added value, then why are you with them? Okay. And you also need to be cautious of who you, you kind of intertwine your energy with, especially if you are high vibrating at such a high frequency now, Aquarius, because that could immediately bring you down. Also, you need to keep in mind that these blessings from the universe, from your God coming to you, um, it's not meant for everyone. So when you bring other people into it, into the fold, um, your guy, whomever it may be, you know, could stop blessing you or, or kind of cut off, you know, the pipeline there because it's not meant for you and you fill in the blank. It's meant for you, you know, and for you to move forward on, on whatever path uh, your God has for you because we, we have a purpose here and it's not to uh, drag along you know, everybody that uh, wants to come along or says they want to come along. Um, this gift talks about reconciliation. It talks about receiving a gift also. Of course, it talks about the holiday season. This also, for some of you, you could be getting promotion. You could be getting the job. There could be cause to celebrate. Um, so that is very good. Something's happening for you, okay? And um, you need to contain some of this. You don't need to put it out because um, some people are going to use this to as a uh, opportunity to get back with you also you could meet somebody aquarius while you're not even um thinking about it and it says aquarius make sure that you're your best you're looking your best whatever your best is um because you're in a vibration of you know um possibly meeting the one a true love don't be the wallflower don't not dress up don't not put on makeup or whatever it is you do to make yourself look good um get out there you know, um, because it looks like you could date somebody, um, here, you have the opportunity for dating. You have the opportunity to date more than one person because you are a uh, phenomenal Aquarius. People see you shining here. Aquarius, this looks so good for you. And do keep in mind, I know it kind of uh, messed up in the beginning, trying to explain what I was trying to say. Um, but I hope you got it now. Aquarius, it looks like, um, you can have a really good uh, rest of the year and there will be some people trying to come back and, you know, you just got to figure out if they're real or if they're fake and why. Maybe Sometimes you have to just ask the question to them, why are you here? Well, what do you, what is it you want? What can I do? What can I, what can I help you with? Because, um, you know, it's not always that they just want to show back up because they, I don't know, you know, for some people to hear from the person that they like or they love, to hear the words, I miss you, it means the world to them. To someone like myself or someone who, you know, is a critical thinker, you know, to miss something or someone is a, is human nature, you know, especially if that something or that, or that someone is good, right? So you miss me or you miss that thing because it is good it added value to you. You like it. You like her. You like him. But where is the exchange happening? Because you miss me, but I don't know if I miss you, you know, um, not in terms of what the relationship was or how it went or the hot and the cold, the off and the on. Okay. Yes, we had some good times, but I don't know if it is enough to begin again. And to say that you miss me is not enough for me to invest. All right. So you got to really think about why people miss you. You probably were very good to them, Aquarius or cross cross watcher. You're very good to the person, you know, and who wouldn't miss something that's, that's good. Like if someone cooks a good meal, you know, you eat the meal and maybe next week, two weeks, you think about that. Maybe like, man, I miss having that good food. The food added value to you, but you didn't add value to the food. You ate the food, you know? So it's kind of one-sided sometimes. So just keep that in mind, guys. I don't know. Um, get your own personal reading to try to figure out where you are um, if you want to do that. 
Um, you can also gift readings. If you feel like somebody would um, really benefit for, from a reading, you could buy, purchase a reading for someone else. Um, you can also uh, donate to the channel. If you feel like you took something from this reading, you could give back. Donate below uh, the Buy Ella Coffee link. You can also ask a question or, or two by texting it to the number below. Is this person for me? Is this really my soulmate? Should I trust them? Are they disingenuous? Are they after me because of money? You know, are they, do they have kind of like negative spiritual ties? Whatever the question may be. You can ask questions like that by texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me here every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, live answering your questions and also going through a collective reading. All right. So thank you guys. Many blessings to you.